Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Once again, thank you all for checking this video out. So I just want to reason with you all in this one. So there are two stories in particular that I'm going to be talking about. Andre Russell, yesterday, you know, he did an interview and he was letting it be clear why it is that he's so um, dedicated to KKR, letting us know that they did way more than what his country did for him. So we're going to talk about that. Plus, we're going to take a look at the Jamaica um, Sports Ministry and how they didn't even do anything to try and save or try and give the Jamaica people some cricket as it relates to making sure that our franchise stays there and everything is up and running. So we're going to talk about those two things. You know, I don't like to get political, but when it has to do with sports and things like that, I will touch on it a little bit. So just give a listening ear until the end. And this video will be strongly opinionated if, if i can put it that way my opinion opinions will be out there so the comment section will be open you can go in the comment section and let me know if you agree or you disagree with what i am saying so this one let me start off with the andre russell story so i was looking at this article and i was saying you know i definitely have to share this with the people and hear what you all have to say so the headline says even my country didn't invest that much on me, right? Russell's explosive KKR revelation in savage dig at West Indies. Hmm. So in the article, they go and they give a background. I'm going to just go to Russell's exact quote. They give a background letting us know how important Russell is to KKR. Even though he's not firing in this um, season, he's still one of their most high-paid high players. He's still highly respected and all of that. So let me just go down into, into, into Russell's um, conversation here. Because, you know, it's, 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 you can look at it in many different ways. Russell saying that his country, you know, don't invest as much as what KKR invests in him. He needs to remember that KKR didn't take him up at the grassroots level and, 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 and put him where he's at. It's because of the investment that was made by CWI throughout the rankings, you know, why he, he would have been picked up like that by, by these franchise. And I'm not too sure if he should be expecting a powerhouse like an IPL franchise. You know, I'm not sure if he should think that West Indies should be able to compete with something like that. Whether it is monetary, where he's paid or, you know, taking care of his medical expenses uh, and, and stuff like that. So let me just go down into, into, into what Russell said. Because it's, 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 really, it's really interesting, my viewers and subscribers. Um, you know, so this is Russ right here. And I quote, where I was a few years ago, KKR actually make things happen for me. Where they send me to get proper treatments on my knees. That's something special to me, to be honest. No other franchise or even my country never really invest that much in me, said Russell. Hmm. He went on to say, I am happy here. I don't see any other franchise I would love to be a part of in this tournament because I have been um, here for about nine years now. Been here for so many years. I meet um, these guys, get closer to them every year. He says, when cricket isn't there, I am still in communication with Mr. Venki. I guess that's the, the, the head of, the, um, of, of KKR. He says, I look up to him. I really respect him. End quote. So that is Andre Russell there, my viewers and subscribers. As I said, you cannot fault a man for being um, loyal to people that help him. But what Russell and some of these other cricketers need to understand is that um, when I come up throughout a system from the, well, probably was not part of grassroots cricket. But when I come up and play high school cricket, club cricket, play for your country, play for West Indies, all of that is investment, you know, CWI in some way, shape or form. 
as much as how we like to bash them, you know, they have some some sort of input in um you know the club cricket, um national cricket, senior uh international cricket to make sure that you are getting what you need to um to perform at the highest level. So when you come out now, you'll be a big superstar. You know, I'm not too sure if you need to really make these sort of uh, comments publicly. Not saying that he's wrong to show his, his dedication and his loyalty, you know. I'm just wondering if that is something that you need to say. And it just goes to show now that it is clear where he's at. He's pretty close to the end of his career right now. So he's just calling it how he sees it. And it, that is why I always call it how I see it. There is no way on God's green earth. When it comes on to World Cup time, it doesn't matter how these guys say that they are performing in franchise cricket. If they, if they neglect wasting this cricket throughout the year or throughout the years, in my opinion, there is no way these guys should just walk back into the cricket above the guys that are there grinding throughout the, 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 the years leading up to the World Cup. I know that the fans of, of these guys sometimes cannot see it clearly and it's just my opinion still. Probably they are seeing it clearly and my opinion is wrong. But you see, as I said, you cannot fault a man for wanting to, to, to show loyalty. But I don't know if you necessarily need to come out and talk about the franchise cricket doing even way more than your, what your country would have done for you. Because these guys pick you up when you are already an established um, star or established cricketer if you want to put it that way. You understand? And the only reason you became such an established cricketer is because of, of the fact that you would have come through um, the, the ranks of West Indies cricket. If you look at um, even professional football, you understand? These guys that play for their country, they are making a whole lot of money playing for, for, for their clubs. And you don't hear them come out and, and, and talking these sort of things. People run up and down and, and once it's international cric um, cricket season, once it's international football season, I mean... The, the, the majority of the top flight um, football leagues go on pause so players can go out and, and, and play for their country. See, um, the top T20 leagues not going to do that, it seems. But at least, man, you, you don't need to really ask them things they're still in my opinion. So it just goes to show that CWI needs to be careful what they do. You know, you don't want to go out selecting people that um, they, really, they, they, they pledge allegiance to, 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 to different things other from international cricket. Most of the guys that are coming through will probably eventually do that. But, you know, just work with who is working with you right now. I, I don't know if I like that comment by, by Russell. But I just wanted to share that with you all. The, the comment section is open. You can let me know what you all think about it. So the final thing that I wanted to, want to talk about, my viewers and subscribers, is the fact that... Um, you know, when I was listening to the interview on Sports Max a couple of days ago, they were talking about the, the, the Jamaica Talawas and why we aren't getting any game and, and why the franchise is like that. And you guys will probably remember that a couple of years ago, um, people from, 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 I, from the CPL had indicated that one of the reasons why Jamaica isn't getting any game, why Sabina Park isn't getting any game, is the fact that they, they, are, they, are, they are not getting as much government support as they would like don't know what that means if they want the government to invest or if the government whatever it is but you know at no point in time did anybody from jca anybody from the sports ministry came out and and, and, and said anything as relates to why we are not um getting the cricket they, they didn't let us know if there was a if they were asked to pump in a certain amount of money and they didn't see it fit i don't know I'm not too sure if revenue is made from, from cricket like that goes back into, into, the, into, the, into the sports ministry anyway. So probably they don't want to invest like that. But, you know, we are still not sure why it is that um, every other place getting the, the cricket and we are not getting it. Um, with Gail and Russell and all of these guys no longer playing for Jamaica, a lot of people not going to go out to watch the cricket. So I understand that. But from a government perspective, or from a government standpoint, in terms of the mini sports ministry, we haven't heard anything. You understand the biggest thing that in the Caribbean where cricket is concerned, you understand franchise cricket is concerned. CPL, we we we're not getting any game for a couple seasons now. Um, we are we are the defending champions, and we're not getting any game. And you don't hear anybody come out and say anything. Simple means that you know these people are not are not plugged in into what is happening. So that is why I'm saying that even though we are calling out. 
um, the Jamaica Talawas franchise and we're calling out all of this and calling out all of that. The, 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 the so-called sports ministry need to, need to be called out. So I just thought that I would, I would, input, I would throw that in there. Um, and I'll be in the comment section to hear what you all have to say about that, my peeps. So go and leave it right there for now. Big up on yourself and stay safe. See?